Today's video, I want to talk about 10 productivity apps that we don't talk about enough. And I want to start the list out with Notion. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we mentioned Notion probably a bit too much. Today, I want to dive into the lesser known productivity apps that are on the market that are growing, but still early days in their journey, but also ones that we don't really talk about as much and we probably should point people towards them if they're looking or hunting for a specific tool. So welcome, if you're new here, do subscribe and just quickly, you can check out Tool Finder, which will be linked in the description below. It'll help you find the best productivity tools and you will find the best ones, I promise. We've got all of them there and from our insights and expertise, you can naturally find the best advice on which one to pick. So first one on our list is an app called Heptabase. Now this is a more recent application, which is like a canvas that combines the likes of note taking. There are a few of these types of applications out like napkin notes that are evolving very much quite rapidly. It's these applications that mimic Obsidian Canvas that are really interesting because you can not only just link a note together, but you can build relationships from them. And Heptabase is one of these applications that's interesting a lot of people on the market right now. Next up is Notes Nook. And I've been badgered so much to check this application out. It's an end-to-end -end open source note-taking application that allows you to take secure notes and really do it in a tighter fashion. The application isn't going to win any design awards, but as in function, it does quite a good amount of stuff. In terms of security, they've got a real pinpoint focus on make sure your data is safe and secure. And I know a lot of people are focused on that ever more recently in these uh, changing privacy policy times. The application reminds me a little bit of standard notes, which are also focusing on security and privacy at the moment. Next up is an app called Timery. If you're somebody that uses Toggle, this is a great extension that you'll find on Mac and iOS that will help you to refine your reports, set up timers and really go deeper with the abilities there. It's something that is great for those who like to time track, whether that's with your clients or with yourself to better manage your productivity. Next up, number four is a fairly new one. It's called Magic Flow. And I actually found out about this when I bumped into the founder at a Notion event called um, uh, Michael Jelly. Lovely name, fantastic name. Well, Michael has created a company called Magic Flow and it's his second version and it uses a little bit of AI, but essentially it gives you a productivity score that you can work on across your day. And that's designed from interruptions, distractions, and things and apps you're using across the day. And essentially it will give you a score based on how you spend your time. So this is a really interesting application that weaves in context switching that a lot of people are gonna find really interesting and helpful. Number five, sort of along a similar topic, Oki or Ochi, I can't remember which one it's pronounced like, but the application is a distraction blocker by blocking websites and apps. It works on iOS and Mac, and the application itself helps you to really keep an eye on where you're spending your time, but also blocking the websites that matter so that you can focus on things you're doing. It's very similar to an app called Freedom, but the application is designed really well and is independently developed. Next up is Scrintle. This is sort of like Milanote and Miro, sort of having a baby. The application is really nice to use. Like Milanote, it has a very canvas-like feel that allows you to plan boards and visually lay out stuff. And also like Miro, it does have some collaborative functions too. The application is again growing in popularity and its design is really, really nice and uh, naturally something that a lot of people are pointing towards. These canvas-like applications quite growing more recently as people move towards a more open feel with their devices. And I think development is probably getting a little bit easier on things like iPad as well. Next up, Reclaim. I'm yet to do a full review on Reclaim, but there's a calendar application designed for teams that improves one-on-one -on -one meetings and meeting clashes, but primarily helping you to use AI to organize your day and schedule the right times. You can set predefined entries like defaults when you start, like I'm gonna have lunch here, I'm gonna have a break here, and I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna switch off here. And essentially it builds the calendar around you based on meetings you've been invited to, one-on-ones you're planning, and et cetera, et cetera. Now this is a really interesting application because I think what they're doing is seemingly at the forefront of this sort of space, similar to an application like Clockwise, but it seems to go a little bit deeper and a little bit more personal into how your time is being affected with your management of meetings. Number eight is Notejoy. This is similar looking to bare notes, but the application is really interesting in terms of its structure. You can go ahead and create notes, uh, very basic ones, 
the ones that if you want to have a more secure focus, this application has got that. Similar to Notes Nook, but maybe not as much on the intensity of the security and a little bit lighter feel in nature. Number nine is Basecamp. Now we talk about a lot of different project management applications here like ClickUp and Monday, but Basecamp is a really underrated one. It's priced at $99 per month, and that's for unlimited users, which means if you have 100 or one, you're still gonna pay $99, which is quite nice uh, in a way. Uh, but the application is really focused around remote and async work, but I really like how they approach things like campfire huddles and things like that, that essentially you can basically organize inside of your Basecamp. And it's really good for teams that are looking to have a non-invasive working environment, but also keep updated with tasks and, and conversations and comments and things like that. And finally, Meister Task. This is from a company called uh, Meister Labs. And essentially they create MindMeister and Meister Task, and I believe Meister Note as well more recently. Well, the application is sort of like Trello combined with TickTick. -tick. It's a really nice application for being able to plan your tasks ahead. And it's good for small teams, probably around the size of maybe three to 10, probably optimized for. But the application also allows you to connect with MindMeister, which is a mind mapping technology. So these were all 10 different applications that we don't normally talk about here on Keep Productive, but ones that you might be interested in. If you want to dig a little bit deeper into these specific apps, you can check them out over on Toolfinder. They'll all be linked below so that you can go and dig a little bit deeper and find out more that you might want to know before making a decision about whether one of them's for you. But a big, big thank you folks, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheerio.